Hey guys, this is John with Shipman Farms. I was just going to cover today uh, Venturi and uh, what they look like when you're using them in the system, how to build one, and uh, the difference in uh, basically the amount of air that's going to be pushed out between uh, a Venturi and a stone uh, with an air pump. Um, right here is a half inch line. Our initial water pump was a half inch with this system. So you're looking at about a quarter inch rubber tube here. And you find a drill bit that is just slightly smaller than this rubber tube. Drill a hole. You can see you're going to come down. I'll show you a little closer here in a second. But you're going to punch it down past this mark and you're going to cut a slit kind of at an angle. And uh, I would cut that slit and it helps you helps you wiggle that that little tube inside this elbow joint. Um, what you'll have is you'll go right past the joint here and I'll show you again closer up in a second and you're going to turn that point so when the water's flowing in it's going to create a suction and it's going to suck that air down and push the air down and so we'll hook this to it so that we're pushing the air down into the water. And again, a lot of times I use an elbow on the bottom of this to direct the water uh, to circulate the bottom of the tank. And that may be another trick that uh, you find helpful to keep the debris from depositing in the corners on a uh, IBC tote tank. A lot of times those corners will, will collect debris if you're not circulating that water around. So I'll show you this a little closer up and then I'll, I'll hook it up and I'll show you the amount of air this produces as opposed to the amount of air a stone produces from an air pump. Um, also, when you are building one of these, you want to make sure that you have enough power in your pump to really, really push the water through here. Uh, otherwise, you're, if you have a weak water flow, you're not going to produce a lot of air through this. So if, if you're struggling uh, changing out the water enough, then you're probably going to want to go ahead and invest in an air pump and not worry about this Venturi. Uh, if you've got plenty of water flow, you can add one of these on and push a little extra air into that fish tank or maybe even not even need a uh, air pump at all. So we'll take a look here in a second and I'll show you a little close ups real quick before we hook this up to the system. All right, guys, here's a little, little closer up of what we're building here on the elbow joint. You can see that tube goes in, and it goes all the way past here. And right here, you've got that slit. So the easiest thing is, when you push this in, and you plug it up, you can turn this tube to see what the maximum airflow underneath is. So don't worry too much about if you've got it perfect. You can adjust that and you can even go up and down just a little bit and that'll change the amount of air coming out the bottom. So uh, we'll go hook this up now and you can take a look at it. All right, you see the, uh, we actually have two pumps running. Uh, we have the old pump and the new pump. The new pump's not quite strong enough to run all my uh, grow towers and I want to make sure that this water is changed out frequently as we just added that tilapia. So right now I've got both running simultaneously. Uh, one's a half inch, one's an inch. And we're changing out the water, oh, about uh, eight gallons a minute. So um, you're looking at, we're changing out the water about every 30 minutes on this tank. That might be a little bit of overkill, uh, but I'll show you that this, uh, this little giant half inch line is running, it's running pretty strong you can see. So we'll go ahead and shut that off. We'll hook this up. I'll show you a close up here in a second. I'm gonna turn off the air stone. Air stone's off. We'll go ahead and shut this one off as well. So now you can see it will turn this on, and you can hear it. And I'll show you what it's doing here. 
All right, guys, on this Venturi, I'm gonna go ahead so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna add that elbow uh, that's on the bottom that makes the water uh, spin around the tank, and that'll help you see more in the middle where the air's coming up. All right, guys, you can kind of see here, uh, you see the bubbles that it's creating down there on the bottom of the tank. So it does create some airflow. Um, so now I'll compare it to a large air stone. See the air stone here. You see why we just go ahead and uh, run the air stone. Now this would be different if, you know, instead of half an inch, we have hooked up a Venturi to uh, this inch line and we'll do that eventually to uh, show you the difference um, basically we'll have this half inch pump running the towers and uh, probably the heat system and we'll have this running all the grow beds so uh, then I'll be able to crank this up and really kind of show the benefits of a Venturi but if you're running a half inch line obviously there's a limit to how much airflow. Uh, playing with this as much as you want, there's just a limit to how much airflow you can get uh, through the system. So uh, I'll go ahead and plug in the air stone so you can kind of see what a large air stone produces. So I just turned that on there so you can really see the massive amount of air that's being pushed through that air stone. So while this might help, I don't believe that it would support the uh, tilapia that we're going to have in the system. So we're going to go ahead and keep an air stone and as we get more fish we may even drop in a second air stone as this uh, pump should have no problem supporting that. So uh, hopefully this helps some people out that were uh, curious about the Venturi and when to use them, when not to. If you've got a, a lot of extra power in your pump, I would say uh, they're a huge benefit. If you're using the one inch line, uh, still to be determined on that. But uh, anyway, we'll cover uh, more of that in other videos later on in the future. Appreciate it. Hopefully this helps somebody out.